You know, someone once said, Texas was neither Southern nor Western. Texas is Texas. I never fully understood that until I joined my OPA in 1996 to one of his favorite clients in Glen Rose, Texas, the Game Creek Ranch. I'm working on the ranch alone this time. I plan on fixing a great meal for the client, but first, I need to go out and find some local flavor. Just outside of Glen Rose, on a small side road, I found a place that looks, feels, smells, and even tastes like Texas should. The Loco Coyote. I got to sit and chat with Big Tom Hammond, the owner and operator of this Hidden Haven since 1965. Where'd the name come from, the Loco Coyote? Well, I tell you, there's a lot of coyotes out here. <laughs> My dad named this road the Coyote Strip. Apparently, I mean, I, and I've just heard this, that there's good barbecue here. The barbecue is the most popular. <laughs> we do it the old way, though. I mean, you know, we cook, we prepare so much food, and when it's gone, it's gone. You know, we close it. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just the way it's supposed to be done. It's, it's great being out here, and I, Tom, I can't wait to try this world-famous shrimp and, and barbecue. What's that? What's the big one called? Oh, uh, pig out. The pig out. Yeah, that's a uh, that's the make that's the mega meal right there. You heard him. It's first come, first serve, and I'm really glad we made it here first. So let's get on the table. Hello. Hey. I'd like to order the pig out. Out. And a bucket of Lone Star beer, please. All right, I'll go get it for you. Thank you. Let's see what it's all about. <laughs> Specialty. Look at the pink. The pink border. That's how you know it's good. You don't even need sauce. Hey, we're back here at Game Creek Ranch. Now we're cooking dinner tonight. We're gonna try and use as many local ingredients as possible. Plus we picked up some good tips from Tom Hammond. So let's get cooking. We're gonna start with our appetizer today, Pandel Campo. We got our bacon cut for that and we're gonna fry it up. Now we're gonna try and do a one pot shot, which is using as little utensils as possible. Because guess what, around here, you cook, you clean. We're gonna start on the steaks, our Texas porterhouses. Now we gotta season them up. Check those out. You can't get more Texas than that. It's Texas, you go big or you go home, right? Except with, not with that accent. It wants to be stuck in a little kitchen. With a view like that, it doesn't even feel like work. Okay, so don't believe in sauce on steaks, but we're gonna make one anyways. And I'm not gonna call it a sauce, it's gonna be a glaze, just to make the steak look a little bit shiny. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Dublin Dr. Pepper, which is only about 37 miles down the road, uh, a little bit of Crown Royale, and a little bit of local Texas honey. We're gonna pull those off. We don't want them to wilt too much. We just wanted a little bit of smoky flavor to them. Go pop those in the fridge. We'll make our Caesar salad. Got the green onions! Now we're good. Enough with these beauty shots. I'm hungry. Well, the clients at Game Creek Ranch are happy with the meal. And I think even Opa would enjoy the spread especially with this amazing Texas view.